beautiful, beautiful people. So, I'm doing much better considering how I was a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to show you the results. Here's the before, if you're interested. And of course, a, a warning that uh, some of it may be gruesome. First, there's still a little piece that has to be healed because it's the hip, so that always takes longer to heal. But considering the difference between the non-burn side and the burn side, it looks pretty much back to normal. So. I'm very happy about that. There's, of course, still some skin that is coming off from the burn. But I'm very happy and glad that this is almost over. And this is for sure a learning experience. And my feet are actually really really great compared to how they were before. So now I can walk easier. Uh, I can play with my puppy again, which I'm happy about. And I can pretty much do everything that I was doing before, except um, I'm going to be very careful when it comes to um, hot stuff, because I'd rather not get burned again, and I really don't recommend it for anybody, um, it's just, it's not pleasant, but what helped me stay strong throughout this whole process, um, of healing is just to be optimistic. Just, just to know that it could always be worse, and I'm glad that I didn't have it uh, as a third degree burn. Um, also, I, I actually owe it a lot to aloe vera because it helped me heal a lot faster. And, um, it actually soothed some of the pain that I was having on, on my legs. And it, it really helped, to be honest. And I, I'm glad my mom got me a whole bunch of aloe vera leaves so that we could put it on on the wound so so that it fe heals faster and feels better um yeah oh and coconut oil it definitely helps after the aloe vera dries um you might start to get itchy because it starts to pull the skin um, putting coconut oil helps to get rid of the itchiness, and it also is antiseptic and helps with healing as well. 